back to the second episode of our My Career Mode CM's W... No, not My Career. Ah, WWE Universe CM... C, ah, I don't know. Whatever it was, I called it in the first one. And then here is our second Fatal 4-Way match for the WWE Championship Contendership. And this is going to be an interesting one. We have... Adam Rose coming down to ringside right now to start this one off. We're just going to listen in to his entrance. The following Fatal 4-Way contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Mushiki, Bahamas, weighing in at 221 pounds, Adam Rose. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. Big match for him tonight, but he certainly looks up for the challenge. You gotta be up for the challenge. This is what shot at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Those don't come around very often. We have 32 superstars going after the one belt. If you can make it past the Fatal 4-Way, you deserve to be in the title hunt. Now, these matches are determined by the rankings set in the WWE games with the attributes. So they are all evenly matched. And here comes and Bo Dallas. From Brooksville, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds, Bo Dallas. Here comes Bo Dallas, a man with an unbelievably positive outlook on life. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see how positive that outlook is after this match. With four competitors in the ring at the same time, you can bet the action in this one will be incredibly fast. JBL just admiring Bo Dallas' entrance, not saying a word. So, so far in the ring, we have Adam Rose and Bo Dallas for this fatal four-way match. We know Curtis Axel is also in this match, and Van Dango is the fourth. The question is, who is going to win? My money is on Curtis Axel. Or as Booker T would call him, the Axe Man. I'd like to see Curtis Axel going for the WWE Championship, something he's never done. None of these guys have had a shot at the WWE Championship in this match. Oh. Oops. There we go. We'll just plug in the second control. That's no worries. We'll put the first one back on charge then. That happens occasionally. You know, I hate to be so negative, but this guy deserves every last boo he gets here tonight. This is getting annoying. You, this guy hasn't lost a second of there we go. The we have it. He gets night in and night out. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. Curtis Axel has arrived. Look at that swagger. Look at that confidence. Curtis Axel knows that this is his first chance at the WWE Championship. Question is, how far is he willing to go to secure the WWE Championship? This will literally be the hardest stage of this tournament, the fatal four-way to start it off. The second matches will be one-on-one. -on -one. The third matches will be one-on-one. -on -one. And then from there, we will be able to secure a solid WWE Championship. And it won't be based on luck, because a fatal four-way, you know, anything can happen. You've got to be in the right place at the right time. And here comes Vaughn. Vaughn Dago looks to be go. ready to go here tonight. Well, when the bell rings and the dancing's done, Vaughn Dango is among the absolute best. A lot of whispers backstage about whether or not this guy has what it takes to get the job done here tonight. Interesting point coming from JBL. You gotta, you gotta look at every competitor and say, is this guy really the next WWE champion? You could say that for all four guys in this ring. 
but particularly Fandango, he's not as aggressive as he used to be now that he's a face. All of the other guys are heels. So does that put them at an advantage or will Vandango be able to take it into that next gear? One would assume so considering we're after the WWE Championship. Looks like everybody's getting in position now. Yep, Adam Rose, look at that look. Everybody was realizing what's at stake here. So... Let the second tournament match start right now. Curtis Axel Ring the bell, ref. Thank you. And here we go. Bo Dallas with the first strike against Adam Rose. Curtis Axel and Van Dungo are going at it as well. This is going to get really, really hairy really quickly. These four so far, they're all staying in the ring. And as soon as I open my mouth, there they go to the outside. Curtis Axel seems to have the biggest advantage right now. He's in the ring to start, and he's in control. What do we got going here? We got a suplex by Adam Rose. Curtis Axel. Oh, nice overhead. And a kick to the back to follow through on it too. And another kick to the back. Curtis Axel's letting out that viciousness he's known for right now. He's just hitting anything that moves. And here we go. Oh, Vandango with a nice jawbreaker counter. That's a meeting of the minds and a half. Adam Rose, look at that surfboard stretch on the outside. He is punishing Bo Dallas. Fandango missed the drop kick. And Curtis Axel is going to take full advantage. Wow, look at that. Adam Rose with a Russian leg sweep down there. What do we got going on? Curtis Axel is picking up Fandango. And Adam Rose is just bouncing Bo Dallas off it anywhere he can find. Look at that viciousness. Speaking of viciousness, look at Curtis Axel. German suplex on the inside after bouncing him off the turnbuckle a couple of times. Adam Rose with a face buster. Fandango countering. Uh, not for long, though. Adam Rose is just unloading on Bo Dallas. Curtis Axel. Ouch. Face into the second turnbuckle there. That's got to hurt. Fandango apparently has realized he's in trouble because he's countering. And he's going for a maneuver now. Oh, Fandango taking control. Adam Rose with a neck break. Uh, Bo Dallas pushes him out of it. Curtis Axel fighting back against Fandango. A big DDT. That could do it. Curtis Axel's going to try for it. And Fandango at two and a half kicks out. Oh, nice move by Curtis Axel. Nice follow through. Curtis Axel going for a submission hold now. There we go. Tap or snap and Adam Rose does appear to have saved the match. Fandango taking control again and Bo Dallas taking control now as well. This match is all over the place but they're sticking with their two opponents. What have we got going on here? Remember, momentum in WWE Bo Dallas going for a pin. Turn around, Fandango. Turn around. Oh, and Adam Rose kicks out. And Fandango didn't even care. I think he's just here to hurt Curtis Axel now. Which would be an interesting strategy if we were to see that. as just somebody going after everyone. He's delivering an old-fashioned... Right here. Oh, ouch. And again, Curtis Axel is punishing Vandango. And Bo Dallas, after Adam Rose, this could be an opportunity for Bo Dallas to get a pinfall here. What's he going for? Is he going for a superplex? Oh, 
he spent any time Ow. He must Curtis Axel just throwing Fandango all over the place. There's the pin by Bo Dallas. And Adam Rose barely kicked out, but it was enough to bring Curtis Axel back to his senses. Oh no, he's still after Vandango. I think there seems to be something personal between these two. Gut buster by Vandango. And Bo Dallas is going for another superplex. This time a reverse superplex. Oh, wow. And look at Dallas. He felt that one. Adam Rose has appeared to have seen enough. He's kipped up and he's hit neck breaker. One thing for certain, where Adam Rose goes, the party follows. Well, you're right about I don't think this is going to be a party. Look at Adam Rose. Bo Dallas with a counter, though. Counter into a suplex. There we go. Fandango and Axel going at it in the ring. Now everyone's in the ring. Bo Dallas, schoolboy. And Adam Rose kicks out at one, I do believe. Oh, shot to the face. Adam Rose with a counter. Nice face buster by Adam Rose, and he looks exhausted. Curtis Axel with a submission hold outside of the ring, though. Adam Rose is not worried about that at all. He knows he's the only person in the ring, and there's only one person he needs to be concerned about, and he's going for a pin on him right now. Bo Dallas in trouble off that spine buster. Adam Rose, oh, two and a half. Come on, Curtis, take advantage. Curtis Axel looking to take advantage here. Adam Rose and Curtis Axel are beating the crap out of Bo Dallas. There's the party foul by Adam Rose. That he's too tired to capitalize on it. I think Bo Dallas was trying to capitalize on it there until Van Dango had his way. Adam Rose going to the top rope. I'm not sure if this is a good idea considering how tired he is. But he's going for it anyway. Elbow drop on Curtis Axel. Now you can see a change. Bo Dallas is after Van Dango now. And he's bouncing him all over the place. Adam Rose trying to take a cheap way out. Will it be enough? No. Curtis Axel kicked out. And Adam Rose is frustrated now. And here comes Curtis Axel with a nice neck breaker. Boom. There we go. Curtis Axel in for a pin. Dallas getting the ring. Oh, nice save by Rose. He got out of it. Don't know whether Bo Dallas would have been able to get that one broken up in time. Bo Dallas now going for a DDT. This could be it. Oh, he's busted Adam Rose open. That's got to be it. And Curtis Axel's a bit fizzy. And Bo Dallas has won the match. What a shocker. Here come the highlights. So we have Van Dango. The big uppercut. It's got to be followed up by a counter. Yep. Curtis Axel with a beautiful counter. And there's that devastating DDT, which we thought could have ended it early on. And so did Axel. But it didn't finish him off. It got him too. But that was it. They threw everything they had at each other in this match. And there we go again. Lots of stuff going on in the ring at this point in time. But Bo Dallas looked like he was going to get another pin there without Fandango even seeing it. But unfortunately for him, Adam Rose kicked out there. Oh, there were some unbelievable highlights. And is this our massive this? superplex that we saw that left both men down? Yes, it is. So here's the big superplex. Oh, look at the height on that one. That was the back. It was the back one that let them both down. Bo Dallas was able to take advantage of the first one. It wasn't enough to pin him though. Look at Van there, just having a nice little nap outside the ring. Bo Dallas going for his DDT and it busted Adam Rose wide open. There's a big gash across his head. And that's where he got it because Curtis Axel was too busy to notice. He noticed right afterwards. And look at Bo Dallas. He's all happy. Huge victory tonight for Bo Dallas. At the risk of getting ahead of myself, if this guy keeps winning matches like that, we better reserve some room for him in the Hall of Fame. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen.
Thanks for joining us. Oh, don't be worried about the Hall of Fame. Be worried about the WWE Championship. What would happen if Bo Dallas won the WWE Championship?